Hello everyone and welcome to a video that will show you how to create your own palettes for the item swapper mod. If you're out of the loop and you don't know what this is then you want to check out this video where I explained and showcased the mod in its entirety. And if you can't be bothered or you just need a reminder this mod adds a hotkey that can swap the block you are holding to another one that is on the same palette it is. It's not only for creative mode but you can use it in survival too. And it actually looks into the contents of shulker boxes to pull out those materials and put them on your hotbar. But this video is a tutorial where I'll be showing you how you can make your own custom palettes and put them into the game. And if you want to follow this mod's active development then be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm probably going to be making more videos about it in the future. So thanks for doing that and just before we get started you might notice I'm holding some unusual items down here. That's because I have the create mod on and this is actually compatible with mods so you can make palettes for create as we have done here. If I hold down the button you can see we can swap to other things from inside the create mod where we've grouped them together in custom palettes. And that's because we've added a custom resource pack. This is the system for adding your own palettes. You essentially use resource packs. This one right here is the default one and above it you'll see that we've added one for create. And this means if you don't like the default palettes that we've added into the mod you can actually just strip them out and have entirely your own ones. So let's begin. You'll need to create JSON files with lists of Minecraft items as you can see here but don't worry it's not as difficult as it might look. This is because the mod has an edit mode that's going to make your life so much easier. You need to turn this on here. And you won't actually be able to access that menu unless you've got the mod menu mod which adds this button and then allows you to navigate to the settings of the mod you've got installed. Now to create our own list I'm going to take some of these fanciful textures from the create mod and we're going to put them into a chest. You'll notice now that we've enabled edit mode that we have a little selector up the top here and as I add items into the chest it's going to dynamically update the size of that palette and this is going to create your palette for you. That actually takes place when you close the chest. So I've put in the items, I've now closed it, and there is now text that's been added to my computer's clipboard. So let's go back over here, clear this, and find out what's on my clipboard by pasting it out, and you can see it's the list of the items we just added, and it's compatible with mods. You can see it refers to create, and then the name of the item. Now here is where things could get a little bit tricky, as you'll have to save this file inside of the correct folder inside of your resource pack, and you'll need to give it a name as well. But if we focus on the structure of the resource pack for a second, this should look familiar for you. It's inside of the assets folder, there is item swapper, and then there is item groups, and then there's a bunch of different types here. So the list folder is where you want to put item groupings that are done like this. Inside the wheel primary folder is where a list like this would go. And then for lists that take advantage of the middle click feature, they will go in the wheel secondary folder. So let me show you what that is. As we hover over logs here and I middle click, we get to see this little menu right here. That is a secondary list. Now this will leave us with wheel combined, which is slightly more advanced. Lists inside of here will need a little curation. As you can see, there are basically four different palettes that have been put together inside the one JSON file. This is the one exception where you'll need to do some additional editing editing to group together those palettes and it allows you to cycle through more than one or two palettes at a time. And in the instance I showed you it allows you to navigate through all the different stages of copper weathering. So when you've made those lists and you save them you need to give them their own names and when you're done doing everything you want to come back to this level of the folder that you're in and zip all of these up and create your resource pack. So linked in the description box down below will be the current default resource pack of the mod for you to download and tinker with the files inside. And please do keep in mind that in the future the mod will get updated and that could mean that the resource pack structure and format is subject to change. Now seeing the custom terrain in the background or the items from the create mod has sparked your curiosity for some modded Minecraft, I've actually started a series over on my second channel playing the create mod in creative mode with my Patreon community. If that sounds interesting at all, there'll be a link in the description box down below. But other than that, I think I've explained everything that I needed to. So thanks for watching the video, leave a like, and of course subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. 